Hi, I'm Shane from BMXUltra.com. So I've got this problem. I have an echo clip here that hasn't been used too much during uh, COVID. Uh, it was probably retired for almost 12 months. Um, and when I last used it, it was potentially very, very um, sweaty. Uh, so over that 12 month period, it's gone kind of rusty and it's become unreliable. So the clip that would normally go in it doesn't um, lock in every single time. So I've decided what I'll do is replace it with a new one. They're fairly cheap. So you can see here my new one. Um, so in case you've never come across these before, um, it's a much better way to um, put your helmet on without using the D shackles that actually come with the helmet. So it's just an easy clip system. So first thing I have to do is remove the old rusty one. There's uh, potentially a number of ways to do it. Um, there's a simple way and we'll show you that soon or you can just cut the plastic um, housing off and remove it that way so what we're going to do is use some pointy nose pliers and if you can see here on the screen we're going to squeeze this metal section um, to allow us to pull the plastic housing off um, and then we'll replace it with this entirely new unit so it's quite simple, um, what we want to do is get the pointy nose pliers inside that plastic housing and if I can show you, you'll see a couple of reflective metal sections there. We just push those in and then slide the housing off. So you can see this, pointy nose pliers, ready to push the metal in. Now this does get fiddly um, and it might take a little bit of uh, time just to wriggle it free. You can see here it's been good to me this time. So it's coming off um, and you can start to see a fair bit of the rust there. So it just pulls straight off. You've got a lot of rust around here. So then you just tip that that way, pull that through. So we've gotten rid of our rusty clip. And while I'm at it, we'll take this one off as well. It's also got a bit of the old cancer on it. So feed the strap through. And this doesn't want to move. So a little gentle persuasion. should be able to open up the clip far enough to fit that little plastic clip through which was holding us up so push that through A very, very rusty old clip. So now we're going to take our new unit, open it up, and install that. There are installation instructions on the back, and they're fairly straightforward. Um, one trick I have picked up on over the years of using these is if you have the clip sitting on the inside of your D shackles, they're going to rattle about and make um, noises while you're racing. So I tend to have a clip on the outside, it pushes the D shackles between that little pad there um, and the buckle and they don't move and don't make noise. First things first, we're going to reinstall this clip. So like I said, you want to go on the outside of your D-shackles. Like that. And then it's a matter of sliding the housing on until it clips in. Um, it's 
um, not a specific side or anything. When you know it's fully locked in, what you'll see is in the end there, you've got your two parts of your metal clip separated. If it's not actually grabbing properly, they'll still be stuck together um, and then your clip's not going to be working. And for the last pass, all we have to do is slot this little baby on. So the simplest way to do it is to click it in. You can hear that snap. Thread your strap through and then back through again. And give it a good tug, it should be nice and firm. Obviously to open it up again, press your two sides together and it comes off. So this locks every single time where my old rusty one uh, was kind of 50-50. So there you have it. Your new Echo Clip fitted and your hel helmet secured. Thanks for watching. Cheers.